We'll see it today. Yeah. Today's the day. What's today's day? Wednesday the 15th. Oh, thanks. Yeah. I have done that. <laughs> okay. Well, for those of you who are tuning in at this early stage of the service, welcome. I'm thrilled you're here. Hug some air. Once again, it's... Chag Sameach time. It is Chag. Yeah. Today and tomorrow is Chag. Today is the seventh day of Passover, considered a, a holiday in the Torah, a Torahitic holiday. And it's the day we celebrate the, the Jews, uh, the Israelites marching through the Sea of Reeds, um, you know, to escape Pharaoh's troops. I wore my wave tie <laughs> for that. So this is the eighth time you've seen this tie. <laughs> Too bad you can't see it up close because it looks kind of cool. Um, but that's what we're celebrating today. And um, we're going to get started on page 65. And we're going to do sort of a a mix-up between what we usually do and the alternative. So we're not going to talk a lot, but uh, we're going to do a little bit more than the abbreviated service and the alternative. Um, but um, basically, uh, that's what it is. So, we're going to start, for those of you with the book, the Sidur Sim Shalom for Shabbat and festivals. Sidur Sim Shalom le Shabbat v'yom tov. Yimei tov. Yimei tovim. Okay. All right. On page 65, see what you remember about our talk the other day about what each of these blessings mean, and I'll try and give you some hints. Baruch ata Adonai Eloheinu melech haolam asher natan lasekvi v'nava hafchin b'en yom u'v'en layla Baruch ata Adonai Eloheinu melech haolam sh'asani b'tzamo Baruch ata Adonai Eloheinu melech haolam sh'asani Yisrael 
ברוך אתה אדוני אלוהינו מלך העולם שעשני בן חורין ברוך אתה אדוני אלוהינו מלך העולם פוקח עברים ברוך אתה אדוני אלוהינו מלך העולם מרביש שרומים ברוך אתה אדוני אלוהינו מלך העולם מתיר אסורים Break those chains. ברוך אתה אדוני אלוהינו מלך העולם זוקף כפופים Sit up straight ברוך אתה אדוני אלוהינו מלך העולם רקח הארץ על המים ברוך אתה אדוני אלוהינו מלך העולם שעשה לי כל צורכי ברוך אתה אדוני אלוהינו מלך העולם המכין מצעדי גבר ברוך אתה אדוני אלוהינו מלך העולם עוזר ישראל בגבורה touch your belt ברוך אתה אדוני אלוהינו מלך העולם עוטר ישראל בתפארה ברוך אתה אדוני אלוהינו מלך העולם הנותן ליואב כוח give strength to the weary And when you're on a marathon of holidays such as this or in the fall when you got not only Sukkot but you got the high holidays in front of that, that Hanotein Leyoif Koach who gives strength to the weary, it's a very handy little blessing. Okay, now we're on uh, page 66, where we go through this long prayer that says, basically, we are nothing but God, we're your nothing. So we have to pay attention to some things. Um, and we get to say the Shema twice a day. And then on page 67, um, the word holy is tossed around a lot in religious circles, and it usually doesn't mean the same thing in different traditions. I'm not sure exactly how to define it in Christianity. It has something to do with the spirit. But holy in Hebrew means separated out for a special purpose, and that's how we approach things. We're going to continue on page 80... Um, well, on page 70, where we look at the rules of how to derive uh, interpretations and commentary and law uh, from the Torah. If you look at page 70, it's 13 hermeneutical principles uh, that, um, that if you follow them, you can see how Jewish law comes out of Torah script. Rabbi Ishmael Lomer, the Shlosh Yisraeli Dota Torah Nidrashet. Rabbi Ishmael says there's 13 ways that the Torah is um, expounded upon, and that's what they're talking about on the Seder night when they say anybody who um, adds to the story, uh, this is praiseworthy. This is one of the methods that you use to add to the story. Okay, now we're going to. Go to page 71, Kaddish to Rabbanan. We're going to assume there's eight of you out there with us. Otherwise, this just doesn't count. But we think it does today. We, th we think you're out there. Yikadal v'yikadash shamei rabba. Amen. V'yalma divarach ir'utei v'yamlich machutei v'chayichon v'yomechon v'chayei d'chol b'yit Yisrael v'agala v'zman kari v'yimru. Amen. Yishmei rabba m'varach v'yolam olomel maya. Yitbarach v'yishtabach v'yitpa'ar v'yitromam v'yitnasei v'yitadar v'yitale v'yitalal shamei d'kudusha v'yichu. Le'ela min kol birchata v'shirata tushbachata v'nechamata d'amiran v'alma v'imru. Amen. Al Yisrael v'al Rabbanan v'al Tamideho v'al kol Tamidei Tamidehon v'al kol man d'oskin b'oraita diva atra hadein v'di v'chol atar v'atar yehel hon u'lchon shlam arab achina v'chiz v'rachamin v'chayin arichin m'zuna r'bicham forkana min kodom avohon di v'shmaya v'imru. Amen. Amen. 
Ose shalom bim romav, ubarachem av, yase shalom aleinu, v'yal kol Yisrael, v'imru. Amen. We're going to go over to page 75 now for the psalm for Wednesday, Yom Revi'i in the Hebrew week. Um, and it's all about leaving revenge up to God. So we're at the bottom of page 75. God of vengeance, rise up and take a stand for us. So while the psalm talks about the kind of world we ought to live in, um, it's saying, you know, vengeance is not really up to us. It's, it's, when they say, vengeance is mine, saith the Lord, that's the same sort of theme that we're going through here. But at the very end of it, on page 76, at the bottom, after the psalm is done, they add a few lines, um, and the few lines that they add are familiar to those of you who don't daven in the morning, but do come on Friday nights. It's, It's, in other words, it's a psalm that we use Friday night in Kabbalat Shabbat. Why do they put a song from the beginning of Kabbalat Shabbat here at the prayer for Wednesday? Because Wednesday is the, Wednesday is the first day of the week that belongs to the next Shabbat. There's Shabbat, there's Sunday, there's Monday, there's Tuesday. Up to Tuesday, that belongs to that Shabbat. From Wednesday on, it belongs to the next Shabbat. So that's, uh, that's why we consider that. So that's where we are. Can I, can I say something about that? Sure, of course. Um, this psalm, Psalm for Wednesday, when I was at summer camp, Camp Ramah, a fellow who's a doctor now named Andrew Spitzer, composed a very nice tune for two of the lines. It's a lovely tune. I rarely get to sing it now, but since we're all here together and this is reciting <laughs> the psalm, I'd like to sing it for you. So you can find it on page 76. Now what he did was he took two lines. They're not actually adjacent to each other. But the first line is im amarti, which if you look at the paragraph above lachun aranana, it's one, two, three, four, five, seven lines up from that, im amarti. Then you drop down one, two, three, four lines from there, vayahi aronai lili miskab. I'm just going to sing the melody for you. I, th- I always felt it to be a lovely melody. I ma marti ma taragli Chaz de charna yisadeni I ma marti ma taragli Chaz de charna yisadeni Vayehi aronai li lemisgab Velohai litzur machziv Vayehi aronai li lemisgab Velohai litzur machziv they're very nice thoughts as well as the beautiful tunes, Zev. Thank you. Um, a, and God will be a comfort to me, and he will be the, um, uh, where is it? The Elohai, the Tzur Maxi, my rock and my fortress. You know, that God will protect us. Now, that doesn't mean from everything. You know, we're going to still have to deal with life, and we'll talk about that a little bit uh, more later on. But it's a big help. So now we move over to page 81. And again, Psalm 30. You can't beat Psalm 30 for an upbeat prayer. And we'll once again have Mourner's Kaddish on page 82. 
Amen. 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 We continue on page 83. If you're sitting and you can and it's comfortable for you, I'll ask you to uh, get your blood pumping and stand up for just a little bit here for Bro Baruch She'amar. Baruch She'amar v'hayah ha'olam Baruch Hu Baruch Hoseh v'reshit Baruch Omer Baruch Hoseh Baruch Baruch Mishalem Sochar Tov Lireav Baruch Hai La'ad V'kayam L'Netzach Baruch Podeh U'Matzil Baruch Shemo And we will continue on page 85 at the bottom. Romimu, Romimu, Adonai Eloheinu, Vehishtachavu, Ishtachavu, Lahadom Raglav Kadoshu, Romimu, Romimu, Adonai Eloheinu, Hey. And at the top on page eighty six, the top of the bottom paragraph. Hoshia eramecha, uvarech en nachalatecha, urem, 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 and we'll continue on page 88 with a song segment, a psalm segment from Psalm 94. Excuse me, 34, Psalm 34. We'll go down to the Mem. It's a, a, in alphabetical order, so you can find the Mem pretty easily. And this is a song that was popular in Israel for a number of years. Mi ha ish chayim if I might add, Rabbi, I'd just like to, <clears throat> this song, Mi Ha'ish, a little story for those in our viewing uh, congregation. The first time I ever learned this melody was when I was a new cantor here at Temple Beth Amet, and there was a baby yeah. naming. It was actually uh -huh. in L.A. And uh, the, um, it was Sally Newman's granddaughter. Any of you remember Sally Newman? It was her granddaughter. And her daughter, I think her name was Michelle. I wish I could remember. Um, 
used to lead our youth group, USY. But anyway, so my sister, my older sister, Sharna, taught me this melody. She said, I said, here's a nice melody. I said, what can I sing at this baby naming something, you know, nice? She said, this is a very nice song. Yeah. Now, I don't know if it came out then or not, but let me tell you, this baby naming, this, this young infant that I named today must be 25 or so years old. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, well, that, that, yeah, I have this theory about kids. You feed them, they grow. <laughs> and we're going to continue on page 92. First and last four lines. O du la dona e kitov kili ola Kasto o du la elohe ha elohim kili ola Kasto o du la dona ha adoni kili ola Kasto Continue on page 96. We're going to do the beginning and the end of Ashrei. Um, and that's, uh, uh, we have so many tunes we could pick from for Ashrei. We're One going to go the, with, uh, we'll go with uh, Rabbi Abramovitz's favorite uh, Pazuke December tune. Ashrei Yoshvei Vehitecha Od Yehale Luchasehela Ashrei Ha'am Shekachalo Ashrei Ha'am Shalonai Elohav Tilale Davi Continue at the little square of ninety seven. Tila Dadona, Ida Beher P, Vivarel, Kobasar, Shem Kotron, Lamba Er, Vanachne, Nevar, Eria, Meata Viadolam, Hallelujah. The funny thing about that tune, you know, that, that, that particular tune is the tune to something else. It's the tune to something called Anim Vizmiros. It's something that uh, is sung either during the Torah service at the beginning of the Torah service or at the very end, you open up the ark. And in very traditional synagogues, like a five-year-old will lead this long, incredibly difficult Hebrew poem. And, he, and the ones I've seen have been flawless, I have to say. Um, but uh, it's a way of bringing that prayer in because we don't usually do that. Uh, and uh, paying a little bit of homage to it and letting you know that there's other things out there at the same time. Let's take a look at the bottom of 97. <laughs> Five lines from the bottom. Ya hallelujah, Shem Adonai, ki nizgav shemo levado, hodo al eret v'shamayim, v'yarem keren liyamu. Hila lecho chasida, Livene Israel am kerovo. Hallelujah, hallelujah. And on page 100 in the middle. Hallelujah, 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 hallelujah. Hallelujah, El 
kacho Allelu hu birki anzo Allelu hu vigvorota Allelu hu kirogulo Allelu peteka shofar Allelu hu b'nevel v'chinor Allelu hu b'tofu macho Allelu hu b'minim v'ugav Hallelujah, Vitzil Tzle Shama, Hallelujah, Vitzil Tzle Tzruah, Kol HaNeshama, Hallelujah, 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 Kol HaNeshama, Hallelujah, Hallelujah, Hallelujah. We'll continue on 101, uh, third line down. Chol Adonai Hagidula Vahagivura Vahatiferet Vahnitzak Vahahod Ki Chol Vashamayim Vaharetz Chol Adonai Hamamlacha Vahaminase Lechol Lirosh And we will end this part of the service. Actually, we won't. we're going to first of all do the Song of the Sea. We're going to do the whole Song of the Sea later on during the Torah reading. So this is just a four spice, a little... It's like a trailer. Yeah, exactly. It's a, it's a teaser. <laughs> so let's, let's do it the way they do it. Az Yashim Moshe Uvenei Yisrael Et Hashirah Zodonai Yamaru service on page 104 at the top of the middle section. Ilufinu male shira male shira shira kayamu shonenu rina kamon kamon First big paragraph. Nehalecha un shabecha un nefarecha v'nivarecha shem kodshecha k'amor l'david barchi nafshi et Adonai v'chokorovai et shem kodsho ha'el ha'el v'tatsu maduzelcha 
Six, please rise for Yishtabach. Yishtabach, Shimchalah, Adam Kainu, First of two blessings before Shema Yisrael, Baruch Ata Adonai Eloheinu Melech HaOlam Yotzer Or Vorei Choshech Hosei Shalom Vorei Et HaKol. We continue on page 109 uh, at the, in the bottom half of the page where it says on weekdays. El baroq Give a heart, a hell, look at 
We're on page 110. Amen. And we're going to continue on 111, a second blessing before the Shema. Uh, God so loved the Jewish people, he gave him his only Torah. Shimon. Haba 
And the next two paragraphs of the Shema, there are three, uh, just an undertone so you can barely hear it yourself. M move your lips. Please rise. Please rise. 
The Amidah uh, for this morning, it's the holiday Amidah. It starts on page 123, A or B, and we skip 124 till the reader's repetition. That's the Kedusha. And from 25 to 28, we continue silently. And just to remind you that we don't say Mashiva Ruach Morid HaGashem, we say Morid HaTal. The reader's repetition of the Amidah will begin on page 123a, and if you like, you can remain seated. Make yourself comfy. Baruch Adah Adonai Eloheinu Elohei Avoteinu Elohei Abraham Elohei Yitzchak Elohei Yaakov Hayel HaGadol HaGibor Behanor Hayel Elyon Gomel Chazadim Tovim Vikonei HaGohol Vizokhe Chazdei Avohol Vomei Vigoleh Olivnei Vneim Vimahan Shemohu Biyahav HaMelech Hazir Umoshio Magein Baruch Atah Adonai Magein Avraham Amen Atah Gibor Leolam Adonai Melchem Edim Adah Rav Lohoshiach Morid <laughs> Who made a 
done with Shachari because it's a holiday. We're going to continue on 133 with Hallel. 
Rani, Rani, Vahadehi, Lili, Shua, Heaven, Masu, Habonim, Haita, Lerosh, Pina, Heaven, Masu, Habonim, Haita, Lerosh, Pina, Mehida, Donai, Haita, Zod, he knew Lord, we are in a hino, may he done on a high. I does all. He knew Lord, we are in a hino. I owe my son on a high. Dog, he love and is my cabo. I owe my son on a high. Dog, he love and is my cabo. Adonai, Hoshia Hana, Adonai, Hoshia Hana, Adonai, Hoshia Hana, Adonai, Hoshia Hana, Adonai, Hoshia Hana. And now we bid a do to Shacharit with Kadish Shalem on page 138. Yit gadal vi yit gadal shmei rama. Amen. Be almadi verachdu tevi amlich machude. Becha yicha nu vi yomicha. Becha yidcha be Israel ba galav ismar gari vi yimera. Amen. Yit shmei rama mivarach li olam olmei amaya. Yit barach yit barach yit barach. Vishdabach yit barach yit mame yit nazi yit rabid. The Dalas made a good job. The Ela mean gold, Birgada, Birgada, Vizirada, Vizberada, Venakamada, Amir, and the Alema, the Emero. Amen. He called us a lot of love, our own, the whole Israel. God of the Holy Vishmael, the Emero. Amen. He is the Maraba, me in Shemaya, Chaimali, no, the Alcohol Israel. Amen. Amen. <laughs> we're going to take a. Okay, we're done. <laughs> <laughs> We're going to continue with the Torah service on 139, and uh, we'll have some selected selections. In Kamacha. In Kamacha. In Kamacha, wa Elohim Adonai bin Gemasecha, Malechudecha, Malechud, Kol Olamim, Lumem Shadecha, Bechotur, Vadur, Adonai Melech, Adonai Malach, Adonai Malach, Elohim Ha'ohel, Adonai Ha'ozei Amo Yitain, Adonai Yivarei, Et Amo Vashalom, Avar Achamim, Hitim Avitzonecha, Et Zion, Tivnecha, Yerushalayim, Kivecha, Levah, 
har vært av nød Melecher og fyr i sal Hara og halami Vei min sa hva har han Vei ha mer måske Kumar og nei Ve a futsu a yvecha Ve a nusu mi zanecha Mi panecha Ki mi tzion Heitze i dora Ki mi tzion Heitze i dora Udivar adonai Mi irushalayim Barach Shenatan Dora Dora Mara Shenatan Dora Dora Lamo Yisrael Pignu Shato And we're going to do the holiday verses that we say when the Torah is open. Adonai Adonai Adonai, Adonai, Eorachu mechanun, Erech amayim, Verav chesed v'yemet, Nozer chesed l'alavim, Nozer abun v'afesha, V'chada v'naki, Adonai, Adonai, Eorachu mechanun, Erech abayim, Verav chesed v'yemet, Nozer chesed l'alavim, Nozer abun v'afesha, V'chada v'naki, Adonai, Adonai, Eorachum v'chanun, Erech abayim, V'rav chesed v'yemet, Nose chesed l'alavim, Nose avon v'avesha, V'chada v'nagei. Bottom of page 140, Va'anit Tefilati. Yil Ratzonim Rivi, Vigon Libidu Fanecha, Adonai Tzorihi, Vigohu Aliv, Va'anit Tefilati, Licha Adonai, Eid Ratzon, Elohim, Merav Chazecha, Anehini, Aneheni b'emed yishecha V'ani tefilati Lecha Adonai Eid rahatzon Elohim B'rav chazdecha Aneheni Aneheni b'emed yishecha Vani tefilati Lecha Adonai Eid Rahatzon Elohim Birov Chazecha Anini Anini Be'emet Yishecha Today's Torah reading um, is from the book of Exodus. We're continuing in the story. It's uh, seven days after the um, leaving of Egypt, and we've hit the Sea of Reeds. 
uh, with a very familiar scene, but uh, we'll get to that in just a minute. Just get the page up here. It's on page uh, $3.99. $3.99. It used to be $4. <laughs> and but first we're going to talk a little bit about what kind of world Passover reminds us that we're living in. You know, when it comes to the holidays, I try and find something that's sort of interesting for you know, to share with you. And what I've come up with uh, today is uh, based on a work by uh, my colleague, Michael Gold. Michael Gold, Rabbi Michael Gold, uh, wrote a number of books uh, and um, I think it's the one called And Hannah Wept that uh, Chaya and I were reading uh, before we got Dina. It's a book about adoption. And uh, he's, he actually was in Israel and in uh, Jerusalem when Eitan um, was uh, named and he came to our, our baby naming, our, our Simchat Ben, as it were. At any rate, what he's writing about now is something a little different, uh, getting a little more existential. The, he was thinking about the French author Albert Camus, uh, who uh, lived from 1913 to 1960. And I've read some of Camus, so this kind of resonated with me. Uh, in high school, I read L'Étranger, The Stranger, and in college, there was an essay called the myth of Sisyphus about a man forced to push a boulder up a hill and every time he got to the hill it would slide down and he had to start all over again. And Camus' famous question out of that was how do you find meaning and purpose in an absurd world where nothing makes sense? So there's that sentiment, how do you find sense in a world that doesn't seem to make sense? In Camus' other great book, which is, I think, a little bit more germane to the times that we're living in. It's called The Plague. And it tells the story of a small little town near the shore in Algeria that's struck by the bubonic plague. And Camus grew up in Algeria. The town reacts so much like the way we're reacting now with the current plague. Uh, with the coronavirus. Denial, fear, blame, and then you see unbelievable acts of bravery. So people really meet the challenge head on. The town in which the story takes place is totally locked down and nobody can come in or go out. Are we sounding familiar yet? He uses the term exile, which is a very appropriate term for Passover. And in the book, there's a great quote. It said, still, if it was an exile, for most of us, it was an exile in our own home. I know a lot of us are feeling that way. Uh, we're kind of stuck at home, not being able to get out. Some of us are going a little crazy. I posted a little uh, meme about people who are very, very bored on the TBE Facebook page. Um, some of the things you really you do when you get really bored. Now, Camus' point of view is that the world doesn't make sense, but the Jewish point of view is that it does. And it doesn't always make sense in the way we'd like it to, but it makes more sense than Camus. The Jewish worldview is that as Jews, we believe that there's a caring God who has gotten involved in history. In Camus' world, life is absurd. There's no God. And like little, poor little Sisyphus, uh, we struggle to make sense in a world that doesn't care. There are two worldviews, a caring world and an absurd world. Which do we live in? In classical Judaism, if there's a plague, God must have had a reason to make that plague. Uh, the ten plagues uh, in Egypt, plagues are a punishment. And later on in the Bible, 
God brings down a plague in the days of King David for the sin of taking a census because that meant he wasn't relying enough on God. Throughout history, plagues are seen as punishments from God, and there's always people to blame. Plagues sort of invite blame. The horrible black plague in Europe in the 14th century was often blamed on Jews. Jews had a, a lot of laws about hand washing and other sanitary measures, which kept down the number of Jewish deaths. Now that you might think is a good thing, except that everybody around uh, said, hey, the Jews aren't dying as fast as us, they must have started the plague. And that became a reason to blame and hate the Jews. There are voices today, voices on one end of the spectrum that blame gay people for the coronavirus, and there are voices on the other side that blame uh, global warming for the uh, coronavirus. In this kind of mindset, a plague means somebody deserves to be blamed for this horrible thing. So who's to blame for the coronavirus? You know, let's talk a little bit about religion and how, how does it get to make sense. Religion only makes sense if it goes along with the best of science. Now, here we look at the science of this virus. A virus, like every other th living thing, wants to be fruitful and multiply. In fact, that's the only thing the virus wants to do. A virus can only do that by taking over a cell and multiplying as the cell divides. The coronavirus takes over a human cell, and because we're not used to it, it sadly has a, uh, can have a devastating effect on the human host. Death can be at the end of that, tr that tr uh, trail. But that's how nature works. But the same God who created viruses created a remarkable immune system in human beings. The science behind this is really amazing. The same God um, that created this virus created other viruses and things that we do deal with. Um, that's why we thank God each morning for the gift of our bodies. It's not just that the bodily functions work, but all the systems, our, our bodies are incredibly complicated systems working within and around and with each other. Nature creates mutations. That's uh, the way we observe evolution. The coronavirus is a mutated virus to which our bodies just, we haven't yet developed an immunity. And so too many of us are feeling the negative effects. The coronavirus, though, is not a punishment from God. No matter what you hear, no matter what religious leaders are telling you, it's not, it doesn't have anything to do, like in the book of Leviticus that we're reading in the normal Torah schedule, ritual impurity is not the result of sin. It's just a state, something that nature does. But according to Judaism, we don't live in an absurd, meaningless universe. We live in a universe where we can see God's work. The virus is a natural event in a world created by God. Events today include this great drama between a virus seeking to multiply itself and human beings seeking to survive. It's a cosmic battle. The lines are very clearly drawn. You know, in ancient times, it would be the sun of, sons of light versus the sons of darkness, the white hats and the black hats. And I have to believe, like any other plague in history so far, in the end, the humans will win. But what if Camus is right and the world doesn't make sense? What if we really live in an absurd, unfeeling universe? The plague by Camus teaches us that in a universe that doesn't care, we can make ourselves into heroes. We can be what counts. There's this great conversation in the book. Uh, I'm gonna quote a little bit from it. And one of the, the, the major character in the book says, what interests me is learning to become a saint. And someone else says, a saint? But you don't believe in God. And he says, yes, that exactly. Can you be a saint without believing in God? 
That's the problem. It's the only problem I am up against today. If God's not in your picture, how do you achieve the best life that you can for yourself and everybody else? Camus raises this great point, whether we believe in a God-created universe or an absurd universe of complete randomness and chance. And there's no way to actually prove one or the other. So in a certain way, you get to choose, does your world make sense or is your world absurd? And if you're out there watching this right now, I'm hoping that you're choosing to make sense of life. And that's why we're here today, to take a look at the ways that we make sense out of life. The plagues taught us that it's not just a random bunch of happenings, that there's a purpose in these things, and we'll see what that purpose is afterwards. That's what when God hides Moses in that crag in the rock, says, you can't see my face and live, but I'll cover you up here, and when, after I pass, you can see my back. The, the, the rabbi said, that meant you can't always see God coming. You can almost never see God coming, but you can usually see where he's been and what handiwork he's left. So I guess what we're doing here is we're in Camus' plague, the world doesn't make sense. So it's up to us to make sense out of the plague that we have. And together, we'll build community around that, as well as the other things in our tradition that welcome us all to be in community together today, even if it's in cyberspace. Chag Sameach. Okay. So now our reading from the Torah begins on page 399, um, chapter 13, verse 17. And this is the thrilling conclusion to the Passover story. Vaikach Moshet at Smot Yosef Moki Hashbea Hishbiha Het Bene Israel Emor Pakodiv Koro Himerchem Bali Tehem at Smot Ahimize Ichem Vaisu Misukor Vechanu Vetam Big Tehamid Bar Adonai Holech Lifnehem Yamaham there we have the people of Israel leaving, and there's a pillar of fire by night guiding the way. We're at the beginning of chapter 14 on page 401, and this is uh, what we did after we left. Uh, and we're still on the way to the, uh, to the sea. And Pharaoh now is sort of saying, what have we done? Vaigah, Shesh may old Rechev Bachor, Bacho Rechev meets Rhyme, Vishali Shim Al Kulo, Vichazigal on a hive, Edli Paro Melech meets Rhyme by your dove, Achare Bene Israel, Bene Israel, Yotzim Yad Rama, Beautiful meets Rahim, Achareem, 
So here we are, Pharaoh, um, saying we got to go chase these Jews down. What are we? What were we? What were we thinking when we let them go? And and now they got this, the famous scene where the Egyptians are closing in on the Israelites, and uh, the Israelites are starting to complain. I believe this is where my favorite verse in the entire Torah. Uh, comes in about what there aren't enough graves in Egypt. You brought us out here to die. It's such a Jewish thing to say and when you're in, you know, make it a wisecrack when you're in danger. Um, so here we go. Uh, I guess we'll pick it up with verse 10 yeah. uh, on page 402. <laughs> now we're up to page, to page 403, verse 15. Uh, and here's where God says to the Israelites, what are you talking to me for? Start walking. And this is where the Midrash picks up and says that it was Nakshon ben Aminadav who was the first uh, Israelite to enter the sea. Now the reason they, I, I believe that they pick Nakshon ben Aminadav is that he was the Nasi, he was the head of the tribe of Judah and they've already spelled out how these tribes, or they're about to spell out how these tribes march in a certain pattern. And Judah was at the front. So if Judah was at the front, their leader must have been in the front. So it must have been him. Uh, I believe he's, uh, he married well. Uh, but he, uh, th that's how we get to Nakshon ben Aminadav being the first person in. Uh, and the water keeps coming up and it's up to his neck and finally when it's up to about here and he can't, he's about to drown, the sea splits. That's the way the Midrash tells the story. Uh, but even if it's the Midrash of the rabbis or it's Cecil B. DeMille, it's a great story. We're on page 403, verse 15. <laughs> Machanea Vaya <laughs> 
Bashmored a boker by Ashkeef, Adonai, El Machane, Mitzrayim, Bamud, Ishvanan, Vaya home, El Machane, Mitzrayim, Vaya Sahar, Et Ofen, Markabotov, Vina Hagil, Bichvedel, Vaya Mer Mitzrayim, Anusa, Mibne Israel, Ki Adonai, Nilcham Lahem, Behe And here comes the climax of the story, starting on page 405. The Egyptians are are coming down on the Israelites. The Israelites uh, have started to walk through the sea, and you, you know the story. We 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 just went through this on uh, at the Seder. It doesn't work out well for the Egyptians. Um, but this is uh, the reading from page four hundred five, verse twenty six, and it's going to go through all the way through the Song of the Sea. So if you know any parts of it, sing along at home. Vayom Adonai al Moshe netzayat yalcha al hayam vayashivu hamayim al mitzvayim al yachbov al farvashav vayehit Moshe yadu al hayam vayashav hayam vifnot boker leitano mitzvayim nasim likrato vina eher Adonai et mitzvayim etoch hayam vayashivu hamayim vichasu et arechav et abarashim. Asher Asad and I be Mitzvahim by your Ulam et Adonai, we are Minu Badonai of Moshe of Do. 406. Aha is Yashir Moshe of Ne Israel, that is Shira Zol Adonai by your Mule Mor, Ashir El Adonai Gioga, Suz Verachwaram of Ayaham, Wazi Vizim Rada, Vayahili Shua, Zayli Vyandehu. Elohe Avi Varo Mimenu, Adonai Ishmael Hamar and I Shemaho, Margabot Paraho Vechelo Yara Vayam, Omifra Shali Shav to the Yamsu, Timothy Hasimu, Yard of him so long come over Aven, Ibin Hadonai and Aribakova, Ibin Hadonai Dirat or Yehib, Uvrav on Hataros Kamera, Shalach or on Hayokemu Kakash, Uvraha Bechaner Rumahim. It's book more need needs no steam. Kafu to more believe ya. Arma o ye heard of a sig. Achilik shall out him lay mu nafshi. Ari kharabi to rishimu yadi. Nav shafta brochacha kasabu yam. Tsala look over by my madi rehim. Me kamocha beli madonai. Me kamocha nedar bagodes. Nora tila do se fele. Not yet I been hot if I am a rehearse. Not yet of a castle am Zuga Alta. The out of Ascha El Neve Gojaha. Shamu Ami Megazun Hill. Ah, as your shape belashed. As Nivalu Elufe Edom. Eli Moab, your Hazimurad. Namogo, your shape, Renan. Tipo Aleam Emata Bafahad. Big nose or high in Muka Aben. Adiavoram Adonai. Hide your arms, look at it. TV emo, but it a emo behind a chalarcha. Machon the shift the chap out to Adonai. Mignash Adonai, Kranu Yadera. Adonai Laha, Lelam Vaed. Kiva Sus Paraha Birchbo for a shavayam. Vaya shavadonai Alehem et me hayam. Vene Israel, Akhovia Bashabet of Hayam. Vatika. Miriam and Nivia, Haka Hodar Honet at Ophia da, Vat et Sedako and Ashima Kareha, Bid to be Mudim Kolod, Vat Allah Hemiriam, Shirul Adonai Kikoga, Sus with Rokho Ramavayaham, Vayasa Moshe, Israel Mayamsu, Vayetsu Amid Bar Shore, Vayahu Sojami, Bamid Bar, Kolomatsa Omaim, Vayavo Murata, Velo Yahu. Lishtot Maya mi mara ki marim heim al kein karash ma mara vayila nuwa am al Moshe le mor ba nishter vayitzak el Adonai 
Vayorehu Adonai eats, Vayashlech El Hamayim, Vimtiku Hamayim Sham, Sam Lo, Kokumishbat, Visham Nisau, Vayomer, Imshamo Atishma, Lukor, and Ilo Hecha, Vayashar Be Navdase, Vazanta, the Mitzvata, Vishamar Dako Kukav, Kolamachala, Asher Samti, the Mitzrayim, Loasi, Malacha, Kiani Adonai. Wow. Yes, indeed. <laughs> okay. Well, that would be the reading from the first Torah scroll today. The second one would be uh, ninth, on page 932, I believe. 916, yeah, 932. Uh, 932 is Bamidbar, the book of Numbers, chapter 28, picking it up at verse 19, uh, which is about, you know, about four lines down from the top of the page. Vishiva <laughs> All right. As always, the second Torah reading of a holiday talks about uh, the sacrifices that were made on that holiday back in Temple or Mishkan days. So now, our Haftarah, Um, let's see, no, that would not be it. Our Haftarah starts on page uh, 1311. Um, it's from the book of 2 Samuel. And it's a, it parallels, or at least it echoes, the song that Moses sang, Az Yashir Moshe, uh, with the song that David sings uh, after a uh, um, dramatic uh, redemption uh, that happened in, in that story. Um, they're both examples of uh, God's saving providence in history. Anyway, the, uh, we're going to be beginning on page 1311. Uh, I'll say about this off Torah, you might not recognize any of it, but if you hold on and get to the very, very last line, there'll be something that's familiar, uh. at least that much. <laughs> well, we, we do read it every year, no, not to forget. Yeah. Vad said, Vida bear da vila don't I, and if Ray Hashira has old be your home, he'd see on an eye or to home, me cough call over half, me cough shall, by Omar Adonai, Sali um tsudati, um er faulty lehi, hello hate surihi, ekese hebo, magini, vikerenishi, mis gabi, menusi, mishi. Mehulahal <laughs> Vishavati he bears Nahab, Vaid Gahashvati Rahash Aretz, Mostoda Shamahi Mir Gazu, 
Vidgazhu ki kharalo, Allah shan me abo, vej mi biv to khel, ke khalim baru mi menu, vayid shamayim, vayirahad, varavel tachad raglahad, vayir kaval kiru vayav, vayira akad vayruach, vayashet khol shaks vivotav sukhol, khashwad mayim avesh khakihim, Minogaha negdo baaru gachale ehish, yar e min shamahi madonai, veo yohon yitin golo, vaislachi tsi be yefit sehim, barahag vayohom, vayirahu avigeyam, yigalu mosto tivel, begar adonai, minish mahadruakapo, yishlach mi marohom yikacheni, Yam Shani, me Mayim Rabihim, Yad Silehini, Me Oli Ahaz, Me Sona, Me Sona Ahai, Ki Am Tuhu, Me Meni, Ye Kad Muni, Be Hom Edihi, Vai Adonai, Me Shahan Lihi, Vai Otse La Merka Havoti, Ye Khatseni, Ki Khavit Bihi, Ye Meleni Adonai, Ki Seed Katihi, Ki vor yada ya shivlihi, ki shamarti darkhe adonai, velo rashati, me lohai, ki chomishpatahav linegdihi, vikukotahav lo asor mi mena, ve yetamihim lo, ve esh tamraha, me ol nihi, vaya shev adonai lihi, ki tzid kati, ki varihi linegedi nahav, Im chasid tid chasahar, im gibor tamihim tid tamaham, im navahar tid tavahar, vim ikeish tid tapahal, vedam anihi toshia, veinecha al ramim tashpihil, ki ata neri adonai varonai yagia chashkihi, ki vicha aruz gidur veloehi, Ah, Daleg Shohar, I held Tamim Darko, Im Radaranai, Trufaha, Magain Uleho, Hako Simbo, Kimi held me Bala de Adonai, Umid Sohar, me Bala de Elohinu, Hail me Uzi Hail, Vayater Tamim Darki, Mishave Ragla Haika Yalod, Baba Mota Yami Dani. Mila made a dahi, la milchama, Venichad Keshe Nehusha, Zero Otahi, Vati Tenlihi, Magini Shaha, Vanon Kaha Tarbini, Tarkim Saadi, Tartini, Veloma Aduk, Karsulahi, Erdifa Oivahi, Vahashmi Dehim, Velashuvahad Kalotam, Vahalim M. Khatsehim, Velo Yikimun, Vai plu tachad raglahai, vatar zeni chayola milchama, tach ria kamahai, tach teni, vilohi vai tatahali orev, misanahai va atz mitehim, yeshu vehin moshia, eladonahai velo anaham, vesh chakehim kavahar aret, ketid chutzat adikehim, er kaehim, Betalfa al teni me rive a me, Tish mereni le roj goyim, Amlo yadati ya avduni, Bene nechahar yid kacha shulihi, Lishmoa ozen ni shamulihi, Bene nechahar yi bolu, Veach geruhu, Bemis gerotaham, Chayadonahe varuch to riva yarum, Elohe to hor yeshihi, Hael. Hanote ne kamoholi, umori mamim dachini. Umoti ehi me oivai, umi kamai, tiroho mameni me ish kamasihim, tatsi leni, al gain on chadonahai bagoim, ulishim kaza meher, migdoho, yishuot malkoho, voseches elishim ho, vedavid lizaraho. Adolam. Baruch atah Adonai Elohim Melech Olam Sarkul Olam Im Tzadik B'chol Dorot 
caught that last line of the Haftorah. It's something that we sing and when we do the full Birkat HaMazon. And then we go into uh, Osei Shalom and finish it up. So uh, those of you who made it through Ramah or uh, just know the full Birkat HaMazon, a little, what I like to call an old friend somewhere, something that you see in the scriptures uh, that you know from somewhere else. Okay, a little bit of familiarity. Okay. We do Ashray then? Yes, that's exactly what we do now. We're on page 151, and for all of our astrologists, we've already called attention to some of them, uh, <laughs> but to David Weiss and to Charlene and to... Robbie, of course. And of course, Robbie, who we mentioned earlier. Um, uh, once in a while, Marty Soloway likes to do it. Oh, yeah, especially for men's club Shabbat. He didn't get a chance and, to do uh, that this year. Your wife, Chaya, will do the Ashray once in a so while? Every now and again. It was, I think they call that a blue moon. Yeah. Well, rarer than a blue moon, but quite nice is our latest astrologist, and that would be um, Mayan. Oh, yeah. Mayan did the Ashray at Women's League Shabbat. So anyone out there, Mayan, we'll get you up here again as soon as the time is right. Right, and, and bring Chris with you. Yeah. <laughs> Page 151. Let's try this. Thank <laughs> you. 
U must be a loco herotson. Sadi got on a becodira, becasi, becomasa. Carover on a loco corab, loco la share ye carove me. Rids on your ea, via hasse, via shabata, mishma, vioshi. Shomir adonaid colova, viet coverisha im yashmi. Tila donaid a bear, be very helcobasa, shim cotcholer lombard. I forgot an occasional astrologist who during this time of our normal service would be helping me with Mismar Ladavid very often, and that is, of course, Rebecca Weiss. It's exactly who I was thinking of. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you for remembering her. You're welcome. Thank, Thank you, you, Rebecca. Of course. So let's... Uh, let's open the ark. We'll see you guys. We'll open the ark. We'll see. Uh, it's fine. Smooth as silk now. It's Chaim he lama chazikima vidom echel hamegushar dirachel ha darchina hamam vechon etivotel ha shalom hashiv. Renew our days yep. as of old. You know where that's from? Probably, yeah, some prophet. No, David. Oh, okay. Yeah. When you're in the middle of despair, you cry out for a renewal. It's a nice thing to sing Chadesh Amenu Kikedem as we gather in cyber show. Yeah. I know some people do a little drosh on that. They say Chadesh Amenu Kikedem, make our days holy like they used to be, too. Renew them and make them special. So now we're on page 155 uh, for the Chatzik Kaddish that ends the Torah service and brings us into the Musaf. Amen. <speaking in Hebrew> Amen. Now we turn to page 166b for the beginning of the Musa Amidah. We'll pray together on 166b and 167 for the Kedusha. And then we'll finish from pages 170 to 178, including all the insertions for Passover, for Pesach. Barach atah Adonai Elohi Elohi Avoteinu Elohi Avraham Elohi Yitzchak Elohi Yaakov Elohi Sara Elohi Rivka Elohi Rachel Elohi Leah Ha'el Hagadol Hagibur Vehanora El Elyon Gomel Chazadim Tavim Vigane Hagoho Vizorer Chaste Avod Maybe go ahead, even if Nehem. Then my heart, she will be a melancholy little forget. Who must you are my game, Maroch? I don't know. My king of Rome, forget Sarah. I don't give a little Madonna. Mercy me, dear Mazahar of the Hosea. Morita. Mechagel Chaim Bechesed, Mechayim Eitim Berachavim Rabim, 
and we end the Musaf and head into our concluding prayers on page 181 with Kaddish Shalem. Amen. Testimony to the unbroken faith, which links one generation to the next. Those in mourning or observing a yard site, rise in your homes to praise God's name with the words of the mourner's cottage. In our book, it's on page 184. And if you were here, I'd tell you that if you're near somebody who's standing for cottage, stand next to them and support them. We're on page 184, Kadisha Tome. Yit Gadal, Vyit Kadash, Shame Rabba. Amen. Be all ma di Varach, Hira Ute, Viam Lich Machute, the Chaychon, the Yomechon, the Chaye, the Chol Beit Israel, and Baagala of his man Kari, the Imru. Amen. Yeh Shame Rabba, Mivorach, Liolamolomeo Maya. 
Yit barach, v'yishtabach, v'yit pa'ar, v'yit romam, v'yit nase, v'yit adar, v'yit ale, v'yit halal, sh'me de kudisha, b'rechu, le'ela, min kol b'ilchata, v'shirata, v'shpechata, v'nechemata, t'amiran b'alma, v'imru. Amen. Yehei shlam araba min shemaya, v'chaim aleinu, v'yal kol yisrael, v'imru. Amen. Ose shalom b'imramav, v'yase shalom aleinu, v'yal kol yisrael, the Imru. Amen. Amen. And today um, is the 21st of Nisan, and it's the seventh day of Pesach, and to, now we're going to count the Omer. Baruch atah Adonai Eloheinu melech olam asher kedishanu b'mitzvotah v'tzivanu al sfirat ha'omer. Hayom shisha yamim la'omer. That's six days of the Omer so far. Yisod Sheba Chesed. And again, I'll go into that a little later on, but these are Kabbalistic cognates that reveal a number of attributes of God if you put them in the various combinations. So at any rate, today is Yisod Sheba Chesed, and we are... We're, yes, please rise for Kiddush. Vayedab Rebbe Moshe et Moedei Adonai al Bnei Yisrael Sofrai Marnon Rabbanan Rabotai Chaim Baruch Ata Adonai Elohim Melech HaOlam Bore Pri HaGafen Amen Oh yeah You know, somehow or another, when we do this every week, it sort of feels more like a, uh, a finished production, but here it seems like it's an erector set. Now, ooh, does it get any more beautiful than a couple of pieces of matzah? Amen. Amen. While Rabbi is uh, enjoying his matzah, mm. I'll share with you. Uh, recently, I had a chance to go through some of my father's records, and some of the records he has go way back to the late 60s, early 70s, from the, Has they call it the Hasidic Song Festival, which was a very prominent festival in Israel and also, I guess, the United States, where they would introduce melodies to songs, often from our liturgy, many times from the Sidur. So I'm listening to this one record. It was like a greatest hits type of record. And sure enough, I hear melodies. So, Hoseh Shalom Dim Romav. Same melodies we've been singing here for decades originated somewhere. It was interesting to hear them on that, on that record. Uh -huh. but even the melody, and I heard, we sometimes on Friday night we sing a song. Yeah. I've only heard, frankly, men singing it, but on the record in its original recording, it was a woman. So oh, was, really? Yeah. <laughs> it was interesting. Even, even when we sing, um, that's from the Hasidic Song Festival. Is it? Yeah. So I know the other part that's from the same Ahava uh, Rabbah, the Vaha Ereneno. I know that's a Karl Bach tune. Yeah. Uh, but he might be in there because you know. Well, I'm, yeah, I'm sure he was a great songwriter, and some of his songs made you know made the record. Mm -hmm. But anyway, I just thought I'd sh I'd share that with you. Uh, just a personal experience yeah, that relates. There's no end to the how many tunes there are out there for what we do and. Any source you get, that's a good one. It's just fun uh, to discover them, you know. It, it, it is. Um, I think we're about to say a don olam and retire for the, for the rest of the day. <laughs> Any announcements? Uh, the only uh, announcements that I can think of, um, let's see, tomorrow we'll start again at 9.30, and Yisker will be at the end of the Torah service, 
So if you tune in and we're still reading the Torah, it's coming right up, stick with it. Um, and Saturday morning, we'll be back with Shmini as the Parsha. And um, then we'll, we'll also start at 9.30, so. Okay. Adon olam asher malach, b'terem kol yitzir nivra, l'inasa v'chepso kol, asay merlach shemo nikra, v'yacharei. Chag Sameach.